Yo guys, what's up? Uh, it's your boy, SciFX, and uh, today I want to talk about my main man, Gilbert Arenas, Agent Zero. Uh, as for the gameplay, I haven't seen this gameplay since it's happened, so don't expect much analysis. Um, so yeah, Gilbert Arenas, uh, if you, any of you guys don't know, probably some of you UK guys probably don't know him, he is a point guard. Uh, scoring type kind of player from uh, the NBA. I went to Arizona University, which is about three hours from me right now, an hour and a half away from me. And um, oh, I just shut it right there. Mode one. What is this? Um, but yeah, I grew up in DC, or I didn't grow up in DC. I grew up following the Wizards. I grew up in Maryland, uh, about half an hour away from DC. And, you know, he was by far my favorite basketball player. I just loved his play style. One of the quickest first steps ever. And he could shoot the ball as good as anybody else. And he, the only thing he was lacking <laughs> was his defense wasn't good. He could not play pretty much any defense. But uh, he wore the number zero for a pretty good reason. Uh... This reason it inspired my Impossible is Nothing Call of Duty 4 montage, which is pretty good. Um, he said that uh, in his first 40 games of his career on the Golden State Warriors, he uh, the, was benched and they said he was going to play zero minutes. So he was just, after that, he just tried his heart out to uh, prove every, all of them wrong and uh, he, wore, he would wear the number zero to just remind himself every day. That uh, he'd know, need to go out there and you know try his heart out, and he turned out to be freaking top five NBA player for about three years in a row. And um, after Golden State, he got traded to the Wizards in 2003, I believe. And 2004 to 2006, he averaged like 28 a game. He went to the playoffs in a couple years, and he hit some of the best game-winning shots you'll ever see in your life. Just like. There's this one, I think he gets the Jazz, where he's like at half court with three seconds left in the game. And it, I think it's they're tied. And he's at half court with three seconds left. And he just pulls up on Darren Williams' face from like 28 feet away. And just hits the game winning jumper. Perfect form. It's like, it's one of the best shots you've ever seen in your life. And it's just, the shots he would hit is unbelievable. But uh, in the 2006 playoffs, he was averaging 34 against Cleveland, and he was destroying them. But LeBron, Baggett Ash James, okay, kept walking and like, it's like the refs were being paid, it really was. Like, I mean, if you watch the YouTube videos, he is clearly taking like four steps. And they don't call anything. It's just, it's ridiculous, the stuff that he would get away, for, away with. But, uh, in game six, I think was at Washington and he hit this like 32 foot game tying three at the buzzer to send it into the overtime I saw that live and it was like oh my god it was ridiculous but in overtime um, I think the Wizards ended up being up by like I think they were up by I want to say Two points with like 12 seconds left and LeBron fouled Gilbert and Gilbert comes down the line and he shoots first free throw I think he misses his short and you know he's like wow I can't believe I missed that and then LeBron James comes over to him and he puts his hand on his shoulder and says something to him and I think he said, you know you gotta make this one right, Gilbert just nodded his head. I'm pretty sure that's what happened. And then what do you know? Gilbert missed the second free throw. Gilbert was like, wow. I cannot believe I just missed that one. So now they're only up by two, like ten seconds left. Cleveland takes the ball. They come down. LeBron passes it to Damon Jones. He hadn't played the entire game. He comes in in one play. It's the game winning three in the corner to send Cleveland to the finals. And, or the semifinals, I can't remember. And from that moment on, Gilbert Arenas has not been the same basketball player. I mean, he was in his prime 
He might even still be now, but after that he got injured. He only played like 13 games the next year. He hasn't even averaged 28 games since then. When before, he was fourth in the league scoring, averaging 29. This is when him, LeBron, Carmelo, and Kobe were just were destroying people in the NBA. And Gilbert just death right next to them. Just, I mean, he had 60 in LA with Kobe on him the entire time. He had 54 in Phoenix. Like that that week, he, he was just amazing. And then uh, when LA came to Washington, there's two amazing plays that Gilbert had on Kobe. One was a four point play, and the other one he just absolutely stole Kobe's ankles, and went by him, and had this pretty move to the basket. I think for the end one, it's just some of the things that the guy did, were unbelievable. But Kobe, I think LeBron James single handedly ruined his career. I really did. I really do. If he hadn't whispered to him, I think right now he'd still be in Washington, making going to the All-Star game every single year, every 30 a game, really do. Which is probably would have a title by now, because they would have actually gotten a good big man. But, maybe in a parallel universe, that's true. Who knows? But, um, yeah, you guys should definitely do some research on some of the shit that he's done. I mean, it is just unbelievable. He had one of the quickest... Like, he, he couldn't even dribble the basketball that well. All he'd need is one step, and he'd be gone. He'd be getting fouled and going to the free throw line, usually going for the three-point play. He's one of the best finishers of all time. Right next to, in my opinion, uh, Allen Iverson is the best finisher of all time, considering that he's 5'11", and he single-handedly carried the Sixers to the finals. I mean, you shouldn't be able to be 5'11 and drive to the basket due to the things that he did. But yeah, Gilbert Arenas, man, he's something else. He really was. Well, I thought this was going to last a lot longer than it is, man. What's up with this? What's up with this, man? I guess I could talk about what he's going on with now. Um, He was recently traded to the Orlando Magic for... Uh, Richard Lewis, and uh, I don't really like this because Magic also got Jason Richardson and um, Tirk Turkaloo back. And I mean, they have like 92 guards. I don't, I don't understand what, what they're thinking. Look at these spawns right here. Um, yeah, I mean, my dad kind of jokes with Gil Arenas. He said when before he shaved, if he uh. If he took like a shopping cart and they gave him like an old army jacket, jacket, and like put a few twigs in his hair, he would look like a prototypical homeless man in, in like Southeast DC. Like, y you wouldn't be able to tell him in like Deshaun Jackson, I think, was the ex-Wizards player. Oh man, they just and uh, what's his name, Michael Beasley for the Wolves. Like, they just they don't look too good. I, but now Gilbert shaved, he looks fine. Oh, as you can see, I'm shitting on these kids. Uh, this is Power Struggle. It's like King of the Hill, but the more people you have in the hill, the more time you get. First 400 wins. Um, but yeah, the, who cares, right? Uh, yeah, I'm just I'm sad for him. I really am. And like, I'm not even a Wizards fan anymore. Because I don't like Richard Lewis in any way, shape, or form. Uh, and I'm not even like a Magic's fan either because I like the Heat even though LeBron, I like LeBron now but not the Cleveland, I don't like him. And Jameer Nelson, man, um, in NBA 2K11, I got drafted by the Magic, which is like Prodigy, and I was a shooting guard, three-point specialist, and uh, Jameer Nelson does not pass the ball in that video game. It's that simple. I'm sure it's programmed that point guards like don't like to pass the ball in my player mode. But god damn, he would not pass the ball. That shit pissed me off, man. It's like, I want the ball, give me the ball. I don't even know. Holy crap. Uh, if you guys are have no idea what's going on, you want to know what's going on, just... I'll give you all some more calm on this game. This game is by far the best Xbox 360 multiplayer game ever. I mean, it's not even comparison, it really isn't. Maybe... Halo, 
Uh, first time COD 4 was good, but now when you look back at it, no. Just as simple as that, no. Am I gonna live through this? Am I gonna live through this? <laughs> I'm freaking prodigy. Look, these guys have no idea what's going on. Oh, I died. But, um... Yep. Just wanted to know... Y'all know that I... am very aware of sports, uh... I was thinking about... Maybe... No, I'm not even gonna say it. But, um... Yep. Oh, hopefully there are some Wizards fans out there that like Gilbert Arenas and have a clue of what I was talking about. Because he's my boy. And, um, I'll be looking, and if he hit this 75 foot, uh, buzzer beater, I think in the end of halftime, and it hit the front of the rim, bounced up and hit the shot clock, and then went in. It was like, it was freaking prodigy. So, uh, yeah, peace.